In this next video, we're going to look at the advantages and disadvantages of non-computer and computer-based organization methods for information systems and databases. And really the underlying thing that we're looking at here is basically electronic databases versus paper-based database information systems. So let's have a look at them side by side. So on the left here, we have non-computer-based methods and computer-based methods. And in line with the IPT course, we'll have a look at the ones we're talking about. So for non-computer-based methods, we're talking about systems such as telephone books, which arrange everything um, amongst multiple pages, obviously a very thick paper-based system. Okay, we can see fields as our columns where we have people's names, addresses, and phone numbers. And each line in the book is a new record, a different individual record, okay, over each page, and it's all sorted alphabetically. We also talk about card-based applications such as the Dewey Decimal System that was used in libraries where you would look up a certain category or topic in the actual index system. When you, uh, that would be sorted alphabetically, the card system, and then when you found the card that correlated with the subject you were looking for, it would give you a specific code which would line up with an actual place in the library that was coded with that address. Okay, and then you'd follow that, and that's how that uh, system was set up. Now, for computer-based systems, We'll go into a bit more detail, obviously, in other videos on what these are, but these are flat file systems, which is a database comprised of one table, database management systems, which is um, specific software such as Microsoft Access, used to not only create databases, but then also um, manipulate them, query them, develop reports, and hypermedia, which is used for networks, databases, and network systems, allowing uh, different files to be linked together across multiple networks as well. Okay, so they are our non-computer-based and computer-based methods that we're talking about in this unit of information systems and databases. So let's now first look at the advantages of non-computer methods. And basically, we have three primary examples. First one is accessing the database does not require a device. I'm in the library, I need to find a book in the library, I just go over to the actual index system, okay, the Dewey Decimal System, and look up the subject I'm looking for, and I can just go. I don't need a phone on me, I don't need to log onto a computer or anything like that. The second is the database doesn't require electrical power at all. Okay, so if the power goes out, basically I can still use that system. Might be some trouble because the lights might be out as well, but any type of cut to power on that will not affect me accessing this type of database system. Okay, and then finally, no computing skill is required to read records. Okay, it's quite easy for me or anyone to open up a telephone book and look through its records, they're sorted alphabetically. As long as I know how to read, I can use that system. But if the system is stored as an electronic database on an actual information system, there is a skill level required to access that database, okay? And no pun intended because the software is Microsoft Access, but there is a skill level there in order to engage that database in order for me to find out my information and do my searches. So there's actually an, a basic level of ease, okay, for these paper-based systems, okay? You know how to read, you should be pretty good with them. On the flip side, the computer-based methods, which is pretty much why they're the standard these days, obviously have heaps of advantages. First one is easy to create and easy to edit the database. It takes virtually, okay, only a few minutes to set up a database. I set up all my fields, okay, all the columns that are going to be in my database, and then once they're set up, I can start putting records in straight away through a table view, okay. Once records are entered, I get, there's an ease of updating them as well. If things change in a centralized database, Okay, it's very easy for me to go to that record and update it. And because it's a centralized database, all the users accessing it from different locations will see that updated information instantaneously. There's an ease of searching, okay, which is running queries, as we say in uh, database terminology. Okay, and that is because we'll have things such as query by example, QBE, which allow me to enter in a criteria, okay, into an actual search, and it will bring me results based on that criteria which is rather quick, and I can also just do keyword searches and things like that, very easy in electronic databases, whereas in the non-computer methods, I have to search myself manually page by page. There are multiple ways of viewing different records. Okay, I can use a form view in a database, that allows me to view a record, one record at a time within my database, okay, and makes it very easy for entry of data into my database because there's a clear layout. The form itself can be edited to cater to the user needs. Then there's a table view, which gives me multiple records, all the records in my database, I can see them all side by side. Then there's also a report view, which allows me to do a formatted printout of either the entire database or just of um, a specific query that I've run and gives me my results printed off in a clear and concise way because I can edit that report view. 
As mentioned before, these electronic computer-based databases can be centralized, okay? So multiple users can access them at a centralized location or even follow a distributed model which there are multiple files that are still uh, centralized but at different locations to reduce bottlenecking. And then finally, there's ease of sharing, duplicating and backing up data. And I feel these all kind of linked together. Because of a networked model, they're easier to access there. If I need to duplicate the database for any particular reason, it might be for because I have a distributed model set up or I just want to keep a backup okay, of the file for data security. Okay, That can be done with ease. It's right-clicking, copy, paste. Okay, But I can also set up a scheduled backup too to protect my data. The final thing we'll look at is the disadvantages of each. And that's pretty much a flip of the advantages of the opposite type of models um, advantages. So firstly, the disadvantage of non-computer methods is they take time to create and time to update. Okay, As these databases are printed, they consume a lot of paper. And if I do update this system, I need to reprint more paper. Okay, The telephone book gets re-released every year. Every household, based on whether they want the telephone book or not, okay, gets a big, thick book, which is full of paper, okay, which consumes obviously a lot of paper. You could argue that electronic um, databases use more electricity though, okay, but that is a lot of paper in the end. It's extremely difficult for multiple users to access the same database file, okay. If I'm using a telephone book and so I want to look up one name and someone else wants to look up another name, we can't use it at the same time. With the card system, multiple people can use the same system, the Dewey Decimal System, at the same time. But if you've got holding the card that the other person needs as well, well, it's going to be hard for them to find it if you are walking around looking okay, for that specific place in the library. Okay. Finally, there is a need uh, for them to be manually searched. Okay. If I'm going to do a search in an actual um, non-computer-based database, okay, I need to manually look through page by page on my own. Okay, there is no electronic way for it to be found faster. I've got to do all the searching myself. Okay, um, and if it is based on an indexing system, that can be difficult. Okay, because I need to understand how the indexing system works. Okay, I need to know my way around the library to find that information. So there is obviously a skill level in understanding some of these indexing systems for card based applications, which can have their own level of difficulty applied to them. Finally, the disadvantages for computer-based methods is they're dependent on electric power to run, okay? And not just the fact that we have to have electricity, okay? But the fact that I also need a device to run along with it. So there has to be a computer accessible or I need to have a device to do a search, okay? And if electricity is out, it's likely that the system itself will be out, the database will be inaccessible. Network databases also need to be updated with security. Okay, they need to have security measures in place. Because they're on a network, because they're on the potentially the internet, okay, they are prone to hackers. Hackers can be trying to access these databases. So we need to protect the private data of the records that we have stored. And that could be people's personal information, bank details, a whole variety of things that we're responsible for protecting. So I hope this has given you a good understanding of the advantages and disadvantages of non-computer and computer-based organization methods in relation to information systems and databases. Okay, there are advantages to both. We do live in a day and age though where we pretty much are all computer based. Okay, but there still is a need and um, there still is a place for non-computer based methods. Okay, telephone books are still being printed for a reason and that's because not everyone has the skill level to use a computer or access to a computer all the time. So there still is that market in place that where people prefer reading page by page Okay, and having a physical book in front of them. And that's why we don't live in a full uh, non-paper-based era yet. Okay, it is still the preferred choice for many people. So I hope this is giving you a better understanding.